Hello guys welcome back to the YouTube channel Metal Lab Health. If you haven't subscribed us yet please hit the subscribe button right now, we bring you medical laboratory and health related educational stuff. In today's video we are going to discuss how to use red cell distribution with, along with MCV or mean corpuscular volume, in classifying certain types of anemias. Before moving to the video, we hope that you have already watched our previous video on red cell distribution with and understood it well. If you haven't, please watch that video then you can get a better understand about red cell distribution width or RDW. Now you know red cell distribution width provides some insight quantification into the variation in red cell size. And this RDW value is derived from red blood cell histogram and it represents either as coefficient of variation or standard deviation of the red cell histogram distribution curve. In this curve you can see the y-axis is number of cells and x-axis is cell size in femtoliters. Actually the mean value of this distribution curve is equivalent to the MCV or mean corpuscular volume, which is also representing average red cell size or volume. As this curve is an automatically computer-generated one from the automated blood analyzer, it not only measures the sizes of RBCs, but also it measures the sizes of other cells like white blood cells, platelets and debris present in blood. Microcytic red blood cells, large platelets and debris fall into the left portion of the curve, and macrocytic red blood cells and small leukocytes fall to the right. Hemoglobin level and size of red blood cell are two useful parameters that can be used to identify the type of anemia. By looking at the MCV and RDW values we can deeply observe how the size of red blood cells varies in the whole blood sample. And it's a very important finding when it comes to identify certain types of anemias. Let's look at these cases of anemia. In anemia of chronic disease, alpha or beta thalassemia trait and hemoglobin E trait, the MCV is less than 80 femtoliters or it's low, and the RDW value is normal. What's that mean? The low MCV value clearly indicates that the mean size of the red blood cells is less than the usual size. That means the cells are microcytic and patient is suffering from microcytic anemia. But the RDW value is normal. Although the red cell is small than the usual, all the red cells are same in size, or there is virtually no variation among the red blood cells in the sample. Therefore, the red cell distribution width is recorded as normal. Now in opposite, you can observe low MCV, along with elevated red cell distribution width in iron deficiency anemia and sickle cell beta thalassemia. Now, low MCV means the cell size is low, and there is certainly a microcytic anemia, but YRDW has elevated. The reason is the presence of wide variation in the red cell size. The variation between the sizes of red cells reflect the degree of anisocytosis of the blood sample. A varied size distribution of red blood cells is a hallmark of iron deficiency anemia, and because of many similarities in red cell indices, red cell distribution width emerge as an important parameter to differentiate thalassemia trait and iron deficiency anemia. Here we share some more reproducible changes of MCV and RDW associated with certain types of anemias. Try keep them in your mind that will help you to diagnose different types of anemias by looking at the complete blood count. <laughs> 